Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Last episode, I'm fairly certain it ran a little long, but we did it. We managed to get peace on, uh, on, bugger, I can't even remember the planet I was on. I am on. Let's check my journal. You have relayed the promised data back to Phineas. Travel to his lab and speak with him to discuss the next steps. Uh, the goods are secure. The Leah Hagen should be pleased. Okay, yeah. Let's go back to... Uh, um, that one... Uh, that, that one spaceship. So that we can get... Parvati on a date. What about the hell is my spaceship? Oh, uh, it's all the way over there. I'm fairly certain I can call my spaceship over to Stella Bay. Yeah, yeah. That way I don't have to uh, travel the 1200, 1300 meters to where I parked my spaceship last. <coughs> Don't you hate it when you lose your spaceship because you left it somewhere and then you forget where you left it? <laughs> so you pull it on the mini map and uh, it's actually 1200 meters away, and you're like, Did I really park it there? I mean, if you changed any of those words to say spaceship or from spaceship to say car in grocery grocery store lot, then uh, I'm certain many of you can relate. Okay, where was... Is it this way? I think it might have been this way. Yeah, it is this way. Hiya, Graham. Wrong button. I think maybe you could get some of your friends to land here too. It gets real quiet. Yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll get right on that. If I had friends. <laughs> Let me purchase all the light ammunition you have, all the heavy ammunition you have. Uh, hack plus seven, persuade plus five. Um. Magnum. Let me get some more mag picks. Uh, I feel like I need to sell some of this stuff. Revolver MK2, yes. Uh, soft speaker, spaces choice. Firing noise minus 90%. Plus 10 intimidate. Is that while I currently have it equipped? Possibly. I think I'll keep you. Uh, oh boy, more... Uh, more stuff to sell. Plasma damage, N-ray damage. <laughs> Sugar Orbs helmet. That's brilliant. Uh, sell all the potentially useful stuff. Make your game more difficult. I mean, I'm not running out of uh, wrapped it on meat anytime soon. <laughs> but all this other stuff, let's see, base health. Um, that's pretty much all I have. I have a few plus 200 natural health regen. But that's it. Uh, let me buy anything that has plus 200% natural health regen. Yeah. Get it all. And I got it all. Perfect. Light ammo, heavy ammo, and anything that gives 200 natural health regen. Just 
missing everything. Wait, what was that? Stimulation. <laughs> you can inhale stimulation. Good grief. I personally don't know how to feel about that. Weapon spread, sway. Bad, not bad. At least, not swapping. I'm hoping there's some uh, amazing heavy machine guns in the vendors of that uh, groundbreaker, was it? I think it might have been groundbreaker. Alright everyone, time to climb aboard. Come on, get <coughs> Ada, I need the ship last. Thank you. Just slightly stressed at the moment. Oh, your face is a sight for a sore ocular processor, Captain. Or rather, your headgear is. Thank you, Ada. Alright. Maybe we can go to Cilia. Or Scylla, rather. What was on Scylla again? I can't remember. Search the outpost. Wait, Becca and Anders were hired to clear an infestation out of an expansion site for Edgewater. Okay. Wasn't there. Okay, the scholar turned out to be someone enti else entirely. An ex con man Max met in prison, but through Reginald, you were able to learn that the journal was originally the property of a philosophist who rusticates in a life of hermitage on Scylla. Okay, let's go to Scylla then. Yeah. We're gonna find this hermit. Destination reached. Scylla. Perfect. Parvati. Hey, boss. I want to talk to you. What about Felix? I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. Mm, is this about Graham Brandt? <laughs> At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Good question. Don't go looking for role models, you're just asking to be lied to. Um, hmm. Good question. He's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Maybe you're right. I can't stop thinking about what he did. About all those people in Amber Heights. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Mm, I mean... <laughs> no, never. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. 
I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. All right, peeps. Who's up? Uh, Neoka, you're out. Pavati, you're out. You're too encumbered to fast travel alone. Okay, let's go with Vicar Max because that's who's on the mission with us. Um, yeah, we'll go with the uh, we'll go with Felix too. I wonder who that. Oh, I I remember who that last companion is. I was browsing at Nine Gag, and there was a post. I can't remember if uh, I saved it or not. Someone was complimenting one of the companions, and sadly, it's the one I haven't unlocked yet. And I asked where to find her. Apparently, I went right by her back on uh, Groundbreaker. <laughs> I'm so stupid. But yeah, maybe uh, maybe I'll go get her. Maybe not in this episode, but maybe next episode. Oh wow, he's all the way over there. Hey, that's where I went last time. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go see if we can get to him this time. You too ready? I would hope you're ready. Ranged weapon, ranged weapon spread. Ooh, cool. And then that for persuade, that for dialogue skills. Perfect. Come on, you two. We're gonna go find us a hermit. Now, I'm kind of curious what uh, what Felix's special ability is. Maybe I'll be able to test it out some. Oh, maybe. Want to try me? All right, Felix, you ready? Hey, Bob, what's this? He drop kicked it. Yes. <laughs> They were destined to die! transition into the Hermit's Lodge. Cool. Hmm. Oh, hey, Hermit. Got a question for you. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I Keep tire going, of the truth seekers. Another Mayhaps you're here to rob me? 
That would be so much more exciting. Um, yeah, sure, let's rob you. <laughs> We're here to get this book translated in the meantime. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. <laughs> I've spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. We've come a long way to help Max get some peace. Is there anything you can do to help? There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. Does it involve inhaling random substances? <laughs> Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness and a headache, or raving insanity, which can be fun in its own way. <laughs> and I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. No matter the cost. <laughs> it's just drugs, Max. We ain't making you walk in front of a firing squad. I mean... <laughs> I'm committed to taking as many drugs as possible, so count me in as well. <laughs> All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. <gasps> it's all prepared for us? Let's go, Max. Where is Max? He's right there. Okay. Let's go, Max. Ooh. Lovely place you have here. Let's go. Feel so good. Maximilian, why are you still doing this? You've been fighting against the world since before you left home. Haven't you figured out yet that the more you fight, the more pain you cause yourself? <laughs> Mother, you're dead. You can't be here. I knew this was too good to be true. These are just cheap hallucinogens that have... Uh, 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 uh. You alright there, Max? What's happening to my voice? Does my voice sound weird to you? And what's wrong with your face? What's wrong, Max? Can't think straight? Now you know how I feel... Uh, wait, forget I said that. <laughs> If she's a hallucination, why am I seeing it too, Max? Tell me that. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, perpetuated. <laughs> I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? Um, I'll let the audience when decide. I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. <laughs> Always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. You look inside yourself all the time, Max. Or with your head buried up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've come all this way. We we ought to at least hear her out. But that'll have to be in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching, I do hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, next episode we get to hear her out. <laughs> Choose. Alright, I think 
20 minutes is the sweet spot for these uh, Let's Plays, maybe. 